All right, I came across this clever hack in the community forum. I'll link to the post in the description below so that way you have access to it. But what it is is you can prevent the form submission in a Glide form by simply using a little bit of CSS. So this does require that you have the business plan in order to have CSS inside of your Glide app. But if you do, for now, what you can do is you can use that CSS on a uh, component inside of your form screen to actually prevent submission. So here's how this works. So I'm gonna go ahead and create create a hint component inside of a form screen. I'm going to just fill it out with some randomness. Like maybe I want to prevent users from submitting a form if they filled out their name being Bob. They can't have Bob as their name. Something kind of silly, right? But you get the idea. So in this hint component, I'm going to add a description here. It says, sorry, your name can't be Bob. Okay, and the mood, let's set it to danger, icon, let's give it a warning, something like this. And we want to set visibility condition on this hint component. So under options, we're going to set a visibility condition. And this visibility condition is going to be where name uh, includes Bob. Okay, so if my name is not Bob, I don't see it. If my name is Bob, then I do see it. And this is the magic, is that the CSS is actually going to be tied to this component. And if the component is not there, then the CSS won't take effect. But if the component is showing up because the visibility condition is true, then it will take effect. So the last thing we have to do here is on this hint component under options, we're going to give it a CSS class. For this, we're going to call it prevent dash submit. It could be whatever you want it to be. This is what the user in the community forum used. I think it's pretty clever. So prevent submit. Now we're going to define what this prevent submit class does in the settings. So in settings, we're going to go to appearance. And down below, we're going to write in some custom CSS. All right, I'm going to go ahead and paste it in. And what this is, is page root, which means the screen that we're on. And then has, meaning does the page that we're on, does it have a component where it includes the class prevent submit? And if so, we're going to target the submit button, which is this aria label. Aria label is just the label on this button. So we're targeting a, a component that has the label of submit. And we're going to set it so the pointer events means none, which means I can't click on anything. And the opacity would be 0.4. So we're going to make it kind of grayed out. So it looks like a button. It doesn't exist. So you see that right now the CSS is not taking effect because I'm not previewing it. But the moment I preview this custom CSS, look, the button's grayed out and I can't click on it. And that's because this hint component is showing. And this hint component has the class of prevent submit, which I'm defining here on the screen. All right, so just to test this out, you see I can't submit my name being Bob, but the moment I change it to Gus, now I can submit it, right? Now if I say Gus Bob, Right, again, I can't because my name can't include the word Bob, so then I can't submit it, but you get the idea. All right, let's look at a more practical example. I'm going to go ahead and add a checkbox to our form, and maybe I'm going to require them to fill out the checkbox. So in my data, I'm going to say agreed and make this a Boolean column, and they have to agree in order to create the item. I'm going to move this checkbox to be to the agreed column, and I'm going to write the label. I agree to the terms. Okay, now because this component doesn't have a required checkbox, it's not requiring the user to actually check the box. So for example, uh, let's say I have the name Gus, right? I could still submit this form, but I don't want that. So instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this hint component to instead look at the I agree to the terms. So this hint component's gonna show up and say you must agree to the terms. And this is going to show up when agreed is not checked. Okay, so because I haven't checked the box yet, this hint component is showing up. And because the hint component is showing up, it's enabling that CSS and I can't submit my form. But the moment I check the box, and now I can submit my form. So a very clever, very cool way to use conditional CSS to prevent form submission in Glide. If you have any questions about how to create conditional CSS in your Glide app, feel free to reach out to me in the comments below. You can always reach out to me at Twitter at rpetito. And as always, thanks for watching.